Hi, so in the last video we saw how the layout XML file looks like and what is the XML syntax used for that layout XML file. Now we're going to see how we can design our own UI using an XML file. A good page to begin reading about that on Android developer website is the UI overview page which gives you an idea about how views and view groups are used. So view groups are containers inside which you can put views or further view groups. Views cannot contain anything inside them. Views are a unit in when we are creating a user interface, views are the unit. So view groups act like containers, but while views act like units inside those containers. We are going to see how we can put input controls like buttons, text fields, checkboxes or switches into our view. You can take a look at uh, this page on developer.android.com called input controls which gives you a good idea of what kind of controls exist inside android and uh, you can click on uh, each control type and get further information about them also there's a ui overview page like i just mentioned where view groups views on all of this information is mentioned so we will go to this app that uh, we had been building in the last uh, video and we will uh, continue from here and as you can see we have this main activity code again untouched and we have the xml file which looks like this which has hello world in the center written like this and we have a text view so there are two ways in which we can edit this view one of them is that we can go to the design view and in the design view we can drag and drop items into my uh, layout file the other way is i can edit the xml file and add new xml elements here you can use either way whichever makes you more comfortable but i would like to mention here that you need to make yourself well versed with the xml syntax used inside layout files because not all of the properties can be completely edited and fine-tuned directly from the design view you need to come down to the text view time and again to make some changes so let's go to the design view and add a couple of view elements like let's add a button and uh, let's add a text box, uh, a plain a text box inside which we can insert text here. Now, once we've added these buttons, uh, what will happen is let's try to run this app and see how it looks like. You will see that uh, when this app uh, runs on your phone, it uh, looks like this. Uh, the button and the text view are at the top left corner, although we had designed it to be like this. And the problem is, if you go to your text view, you will find that the problem has been underscored. The view is not constrained because it only has design time positions, but it does not have any constraints. So let's constrain these views. Let's take an example of this edit text and let's constrain the top of it to this hello world and let's constrain it in the center of the screen by attaching it to both the sides. So both the sides will pull it equally and it will come to the center. Now we want this button to be at the uh, to be above this uh, text view so we will constrain the bottom to the top and the top to the top of the screen. This way the button will be between these two points at the center and then I will constrain the button also to left and right both to make it centered. Once we have done this, we can now run our app and see what difference does this make. So let's run this app again. And uh, now we will see that in our device, the button and the text view are in the positions that uh, we wanted them to be. Now, if uh, we start writing something, if we add space after name and uh, start writing something, we'll see it's a text view like this, and you can delete the text inside it. Okay. Uh, there are certain properties in these items that you can change, like in the button, you can uh, change, for example, the text size. 
do say um, 30 SP. SPs are a unit for measuring items and we will be covering topics like what SP stands for and what DP stands for. You can see units like DP and SP. We are going to cover that eventually. But uh, as a basic overview, we use DPs to measure everything except text. And for text, we use SP. Now, uh, in this edit text, uh, there is a parameter called input type. And in the input type, it says text person name. So there are a lot of input types available. You can go to the design view and uh, you will see that there are attributes for this edit text. And one of the attributes is uh, what is the input type. And the input type could be any one of these. So for example, if I use the input type as number and I run my app, So we will be seeing that uh, by default the text was name here but if I remove that and I try to type anything here I can only insert numbers here and if I try to insert things like a comma or a uh, minus symbol or uh, space and those buttons are not accepted because we have set the input type to number and Android will only allow me to type numbers into such a box. And if the keyboard of your phone supports it, your keyboard will show a number only layout in this case. So this gives us a basic idea about how views work. Uh, we have seen how a button can be added, a text view and an edit text can be added. Um, buttons, text views and edit text uh, can all contain text inside them. The text of a text view cannot be changed, but the text inside an edit text can be changed. Uh, buttons you can click and do something so in an upcoming video we're going to see how we can click on a button and do perform something and how we can extract the text from an edit text that the user has provided to us and show it in a text view thank you